Corey and I are in San Diego checking out a 1949 Mercury that was used in the movie Grease, known as Hell's Chariot. The seller's asking for $700,000. So I'm having my car expert, Misha, come by. He's going to take a look, and if it's all right, it's the one that I want. Misha, what's up, beauty school dropouts? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? So, Hell's Chariot. She's beautiful. So, Misha, what can you tell me about a 49 Merc? 49 Merc is a really iconic hot rod, one of the most sought after between 49 to 51. It's a beautiful car, 49, that's when uh, World War II is over, everybody is working, Detroit is going full steam, style was everything, and this was ultra modern looking. It was a big deal when these came out. Yeah. This one here uh, looks like it's been restored. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about the restoration. Yeah, the restoration was done about 10 years ago when we found the car. And uh, we did a no holds, no expense spared restoration on the car and went to exact movie specifications. And it's a pristine example of a 1949 Mercury. Yeah, she looks really amazing. Maybe we can open her up and check her out. Ah, more than welcome to. Rick, would you mind popping the hood, please? Here we go. Look at that. So this is a flathead V8, and these flatheads are very sought after. All the uh, hot rod guys love these motors right here. That's awesome. So how does it run? Beautifully, Rick, like a brand new 1949 Mercury. We take it for a test drive? You're more than welcome to. Let's go. We've had so much fun with this car over the years. Whenever we take the car out, children break out into grease songs. It makes people smile. How you feeling back there? Like I'm sitting on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> The movie just is Americana. We should have brought leather jackets. That would have been the cool part. Totally. Oh, no power steering. Oh, you got this. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Getting that workout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I upshifted a little too early. Is this your first time driving? <laughs> <laughs> So how's it driving, Pops? Everything's solid here. I mean, like, the uh, steering box needs a little work. It probably need to bleed the brakes. Besides that, it runs like a champ. I mean, all this American steel takes this hill with no prop at all. All right. Like, I'm digging it. I feel like the president back here. <laughs> How'd she run? Like a 49 Mercury, yeah, so. You want to see the flames? Oh, yeah, I definitely want to oh, see the flames. Oh, the best of part of the car. Yeah. yeah, let's check it out. All right. All this right. is the part that makes it go fast. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I love it. <laughs> well, I'm super impressed. So, Misha, did you get an idea of the value of something like this? You know what, Rick? That's a tough one for me. Movie value, you'd have to call in a movie expert. The car as it is, with no movie value, I would say 60K. OK. Well, thanks for coming down, Misha. Appreciate it, buddy. No sweat. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Take care. Take care, David. Pleasure meeting you. Yep. So we know what the car value is, but the fact that it's a one of a kind from a really, really iconic movie value, we're going to have to call somebody else. Yeah, so I'm going to call my buddy Jonathan. He deals with famous cars. So let me get a call him up, get a price from him, and then we'll go from there. Welcome his opinion. I'll be right back. Don't let him sell the car while I'm done. What's up, Jonathan? How hey you doing? Hey, guys. I'm in good spirits. How you doing? Here it is, Hell's Chariot. I mean, it's really incredible. This is the one that Craterface drove. Yes. On Thunder Road. I can't really think of a more iconic distillation of the American spirit than this car. It represents freedom, it, you know, represents innovation, it represents rebelliousness, obviously. So it really doesn't get much cooler than that. So you're the car expert. Is this the car from the movie? So it looks immaculate. I mean, um, here's the Scorpion Gang logo there. And it does have the serrated wheels that tore up grease lightning. Yep. Is this an Eddie Paul? It is. And you have proof of that? I mean, you have yes. documentation. Oh, yes. OK. So I believe that this is the actual car from Greece. All right. So what do you think this one would be worth? Well, I've encountered cars of this nature before. I mean, like the DeLoreans from Back to the Future or Tom Cruise's Porsche from Risky Business. I mean, I would say, based on uh, auction records, the importance of this car, I think conservatively, this car would be $650,000. And at auction, it conceivably could go well over seven figures. Wow. OK. Yep. 
I appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming down. Well, it's my, always a pleasure to see you guys. It's nice to meet pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you, too. Okay. All, right. All right. Take care. Whoa. I got a lot to consider now. All right. You know, when we came down here, I was, I was thinking the car was running around 200 grand. Sort of a shock, 650. Um, I mean, would you take 400 grand for it? I wouldn't. I couldn't go that low. I'd probably rather take my chances and throw it through an auction. I mean, it's just the way I look at it, the world's crazy right now. I mean, if I buy this car, it's going to be a year before I get my money for it when I sell it. Mm -hmm. 425? Mm -hmm. 500? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a little bit lower than we like to go. How about if we split the difference and go 550? I don't nope. see us making a deal, man. OK. <laughs> well, you know what? I appreciate you letting us drive it and take a look at it. Appreciate you guys coming down. It's been fun. Take care, buddy. Uh, you too. Thanks, guys. Have a good one, man. You too. Take care. They redid the movie. We could play it. I mean, I'd be Zuko. You'd be Crater Face? You'd be Crater Face, boss. All right, let's get out of here.